This is the place. It's so well hidden. But there's nothing spooky about it. Hmm. Let's go inside and take a look. Weird. It's bigger on the inside than Paimon imagined. Are you sure it's still a work in progress? Ilias, do you remember this place? Uh... Huh? Uh, Ilias! Where'd he go? Hmm. I don't sense him nearby. Did he get separated from us? Should we wait here or turn around and look for him? There's no need for that. Let's keep moving. Uh, all right. We'll continue in and see if he catches up to us. It's okay, Ilyas. You've done more than enough for me already. I don't understand. Everyone knows that Johnny is stealing your research. Why is no one willing to go public with the truth? He shamelessly used your thesis to send in a project application. And whenever the project hits a wall, he asks you for help. Everyone knows what's going on. Do you know how many people are working on that project? If Johnny was kicked out because of academic fraud, That'd be the end of the project. Too many people would be affected. But he's obviously taking advantage of you! He throws you the hardest work, and after you're done pulling all-nighters, he struts around with your research data and takes credit for it. That's not right! Why are you putting up with this? A lot of people warn me to not say anything, and I think they have a point. This is just how things are. All I want is to graduate without any problems. <sighs> it's okay. He's at least paying me. Half a year of your time and effort. Countless all-nighters and casual threats and insults. All for a measly 20,000 mora. He's treating people like cattle. Enough. It's fine. I just need to suck it up and get it done. What's the matter? Huh? You could read minds this whole time and you never told Paimon? Of course not. I was also able to see those memories just now. They were probably the ones that leaked out while Ilios was connecting to the collective consciousness. Connecting... collective consciousness? It's clear that this place isn't a work in progress. The Hive has long been finished. The Collective Consciousness project is already complete, and Ilias is now returning to the Collective. Not entirely. Keep walking and you'll see why. An entire year's worth of work down the drain. And for what? Your reputation? Do you have any idea how many people you brought down? You could have played Hero any time. So why couldn't you have waited until the project was complete? I don't understand what you guys are saying. Are you saying you don't care that Raju jumped to his death? It's a shame. What happened to him? I, I thought he was stronger than that. Everyone has been working hard to complete the project. He could have endured for a bit longer, but he chose now, of all times, to... In any case, we're done with you. Because of your recklessness, the Matra are putting Johnny on trial. Oh, this project is done for. None of this affects you at all. But do you know how many people, myself included, needed this project to complete their studies? Now our futures are up in the air. If worst comes to pass, we might not be able to graduate. Do you understand now? I'm sorry. There's no need for an apology. It's not like I'll accept it anyway. You'll pay for this. Hey! 
You're blinking out again. What did you see this time? Don't jump to conclusions just yet. Save your words for when we see him. Well, Alias, this is all very strange. Is there really no research group that will take you? Well, to pass this course, you must complete a paper with other researchers. I know you're a hero for fighting academic fraud, but well, we can't make exceptions for heroes, now can we? Maybe you should try to improve your relationship with the other researchers. Huh? Getting a reputation for being too unconventional will not stand you in good stead in the long run. I understand. <sighs> You seem troubled. Who are you? Ah, where are my manners? My name is Siraj. Siraj? I've heard of you before. Do you need something from me? Mm, the world hates people who don't fit in. I imagine you've had your fair share of trouble. After you reported Johnny for academic fraud, you are ostracized. And shunned. Even your family can't understand your actions. However, I'm working on some research that will help you merge into a collective. That way, your life won't be so dolorous. How about it? Wanna have a go? What did you see? You've come. I intentionally slowed my integration into the collective consciousness because I wanted to see you one last time as Ilyas. And I wanted to apologize to you as him. It was only at Gondarvaville that the second thing I must do occurred to me. Bring you all here. To throw off the Matra and bring Alhatham to the Hive. That was my task as Siraj number 36. You, you were already Siraj number 36? But you passed the Matra's lie detector test! Yes, I truly did forget many things during that time, even my identity and assigned responsibilities. However, it's not that I got scared and forgot. I chose to delete those memories. It's difficult to fool all Hatham, so I had to create the perfect guise for myself. And the best guise is when you believe your own lies. Correct. I only told you that the Hive was incomplete because I had deleted my memories of its completion. It was finished a long time ago. Before I left, I was already living as number 36. Now, I choose to return to that identity. Only here. Can I be truly free? That's all I wanted to say. After I enter this room, my consciousness will merge back into the collective. And so, this is goodbye. Is this your decision? <sighs> yeah, the person we know is Ilyas, not Siraj number 36. The outside world is painful sometimes, but... Paimon doesn't think that's a reason to run away! Do you need more time to consider, Ilyas? Hey, who are... That is Siraj. So you're that Giga-Jerk! Giga-Jerk? <laughs> How bold of you! Have I done something to offend you? I modified Akasha terminals to allow users to share memories and emotions. Then, I recruited researchers from the academia to build a collective consciousness. I assigned numbers to everyone, 
and divided the experiment's tasks amongst themselves. Here, people can live easily and happily without needing to exercise complex mental thought. This is what they have chosen. All I've done is fulfill their wishes. You're just trying to justify yourself. Then I ask you, what's the difference between here and the outside? There are researchers at the academia who engage in dangerous research in extreme environments while others become idle and listless. People are so obsessed with collective will that even those on the fringes will attempt to fit in after suffering setbacks. Isn't that right, Elias? <sighs> There's no need to deny this, as it is fact. It is natural for social creatures to conform. And the terminus of conformity is a collective consciousness through which even an ordinary bee colony can become a powerful swarm, replace the bees with humans. And this model becomes even more potent. Welcome to the hive, Alhatham. You once arrogantly denied the merits of this project before the Grand Sage. A few simple words from you, and my research was consigned to nothingness. Of course, I'm well aware that you don't care about any of this. You don't care about the pain of others. But I didn't give up. I made my thesis into reality. When we arrived, I noticed many empty rooms in the hive. Oh, you noticed that? <laughs> then can you guess where their inhabitants are? The answer is the academia. They're executing another phase of the plan. The plan to install me as a sage. The collective consciousness links all of us into a single mind, showcasing our individual strengths as we work together. We are able to execute complex undertakings while instantaneously modifying our strategies in response to unexpected situations. Everything has been proceeding smoothly. You are our biggest obstacle. With you out of the way, I'll use my growing influence to turn the collective consciousness into a legitimate study. The project will snowball until ultimately everyone will be part of my hive. I... No. The hive will be in control. And it will lead the academia towards a new future. We won't let you do this! What can you achieve with mere words? You weren't even able to change Ilyas's mind. Return to the hive, number 36. Yes. Wait! Don't go back! Uh, look! There are lots of people out there worried about you. And you aren't an outcast! Aren't we your friends? That's easy for you to say, given that you're travelers. Will you two continue to stay at the Academia? When you leave, tragedy will repeat itself. Return number 36. You know as well as I do that comforting words don't make life any easier. Ilias? Why? You two are just as arrogant as all hate them. You think that everyone should be like you and live according to their own truths. But you don't realize that most people simply want easy lives. I allowed number 36 to leave the hive without his memories only because I knew he would eventually return. This proves that I know more about human nature than you do. I'll hate them. Do say a word or two. I will consider them as your last. I made those words quite clear a year ago. The model you presented was extremely unstable. No amount of garish packaging will change its fragile nature. <sighs> it can't be helped. If you were clever enough to realize those problems, then you would have been aware that the hive changed when Ilias returned to this collective consciousness of yours. What? The Collective needs motivation to execute its plans, just as machinery requires energy to operate. 
That's why you, as the Overmind, synchronized your hatred of me into the Collective, prompting them to create and execute a plan to eliminate me. However, when Ilias returned to the Collective, his memories and emotions were shared with the rest of its members. This includes his perception of me. Thanks for that. You know, you don't seem like such a bad person. Strange, isn't it? Why did I have those thoughts at that time? This contradicts the hatred you had provided them, and these two differing emotions will give rise to new conflict. So that's it! Wait, so you knew that Ilias would return to the Hive? And then you pretended to keep him around just to fool Siraj! Wouldn't expect any less from you, all Haytham! Once the collective consciousness bugs out, we'll take that opportunity to... Uh, wait, it's back to normal already? All Haytham, I told you. You're too arrogant. Did you really think that your little scheme would be enough to destabilize the Hive? Ilias's return had indeed introduced abnormal emotions into the Hive, but such a meager drop cannot give rise to waves. Your struggle has been in vain, and it's time to end it. Allow me to show you what makes the collective consciousness so formidable. So many monsters. Where did they come from? And something feels off about them. I also integrated monsters into the collective, though I ranked them last. Even so, they are part of it. Despite their lack of intelligence, perfect cooperation can be achieved, much like soldiers who have undergone strict training. Now then, drown in endless waves of monsters. You, you will all pay for your ceaseless arrogance. Hey, I'll hate them. Uh, your plan didn't work, so what do we do now? I've already sent my gift to the Collective. It'll take some time for the recipient to receive it. You two just need to brace yourselves for the nuisance in front of us. Well, all right. Paimon doesn't know how you get so confident, but we'll hold them off for as long as we can. What's going on? What's with this sudden influx of information? Silence! Has the Overmind, I command you! Don't you have an easy way to figure this out? <laughs> you were only designated as number 36? What a shame. From what I can see, your talents merit a smaller number. Putting aside the validity of the data, it is meaningless to judge individuals based solely on their Nyana energy. What you said to Elias has now become a memory shared by all members of the Hive. I see it now! You've channeled and amplified their selfish desires! You're trying to destroy my hive from the inside out! Human minds are not infinitely pliable, and your hive has stretched many of them to their limit. Once your authority as Overmind starts to wane, it won't be long before your subjects snap back. Is it worth living here like a machine? Being a tool for the rest of my life? As soon as one person begins to have these thoughts, selfishness, doubt, and fear will propagate, thanks to the web of consciousness that you built. At this stage, your so-called hive has already fallen. It's not over yet. I am the Overmind! There has to be a way! It's too late. Once the desires of the Hive accumulate, beyond a certain threshold, they will kill their king. I wouldn't have suffered such a disgraceful defeat if I was the Overmind. My numbers shouldn't be so far down in the list! Thrawn's is alive! This isn't what we agreed to! I should be the one in your position!
going just now? Members of a collective consciousness are more likely to reach a consensus because of their shared memories and emotions. For example, Ilios did have differing perceptions, but he ultimately followed the collective consciousness's judgment. However, this system is far from perfect. Based on this logic, the collective consciousness will generate an intractable diffusion effect upon encountering negative emotions. The disturbance that Ilios caused wasn't for naught. It made the collective question the Overmind. Setbacks in the plan further amplified doubt, which diminishes the Overmind's influence. This inevitably causes the collective to generate negative emotions. Apprehension, disappointment, panic, avarice. These negative emotions can be very well hidden, as humans generally do not share completely transparent channels of communication. But in the Hive, where there are no secrets, negativity can spread like a tidal wave. Of course, what I said to Ilios was the trigger for all of this. A few words were enough. Believe in the power of words, Siraj. You were already thinking of a way to destroy the collective consciousness. Even back then, you knew that Ilyas was the bait all along. But how did you know? Since when? I knew it from the moment I saw him. Moreover, I never looked down on you. My opinion of you has always been objective. You have a naive view towards the concepts of collective consciousness and human evolution, but you are intelligent and disciplined. You would never let a test subject escape. Mistakes like that are beneath you, and you also won't leave any mistake without a resolution. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear those words come from you. But if you're saying that out of sympathy, spare me. I know very well that you've never viewed me as an equal. When you were with us, you always had a distant look in your eyes. You don't need to hide it. I know it better than anyone else. The arrogance that comes with being a genius. Nobody likes being treated like that. Your perspective is entirely born from your habitual way of looking at things. From your perspective, you probably think I'm like you. Someone who doesn't fit in. However, I've never placed myself on a pedestal. I just want to distance myself from meaningless noise and look at everything objectively. On the other hand, you have failed to come to terms with who you truly are. You care too much about winning and how others perceive you. You mean to say that I'm the arrogant one here? Is that not so? Arrogant and emotionally fragile. You view people as a simple mediocre collective, while you regard me as one of your kind. <sighs> Regardless, I have lost. You can take me back to the Academia and stand trial. You will stand trial, yes. But arresting people isn't in my job description. I'm just an ordinary staff member. I believe it is the General Mahamatra's duty to escort you away. Sino? What are you doing here? I followed the symbols. Looks like things have already been settled. I left a similar picture in my letter to him, and I made several similar symbols on the way here. Wait, what do you mean you left a letter? Oh, Paimon remembers! When Paimon first saw you, Arab said that you had left a letter for Sino. So you really did know that something was up with Ilyas from the start! It'd be best if you didn't spout nonsense. I never employed any mode of trickery on you. By the way, I came across some information at the Academia a few days ago. If you practice the method discussed therein, your vision may improve. Do you need it? Seriously? This guy. By the way, Sino, 
Paimon heard that Siraj sent more people to the Academia. We can't let those jerks get away! Don't worry. The Matra have started screening suspicious persons. And we've already arrested many of Siraj's associates. This was likely one factor that caused the Hive's consciousness to waver. Everything went as you predicted, All Haytham. Good. <laughs> Seems like the interesting part is already over. I'll leave the arrests to you all. See you. And off he goes. <sighs> there still are a lot of test subjects here, so let's stick around for a while. The matter's settled. We can return now. <laughs> I actually thought it would have been settled sooner. This took much longer than I expected. Judging by your faces, it seems like you two still have some questions. I respect your curiosity, but I'm off the clock now, so I'm not going to field any questions. Hey! Where are your colleagues? Um... You couldn't tell that was an excuse just now? What? Are you kidding me? You're not leaving today until you explain what happened back at Siraj's secret base! See ya. Ah, hold it right there. Are you done? Your behavior is reminding me of some other people. Stop changing the subject. <sighs> it's too much of a hassle to explain everything from the top. You know what? Come with me. You'll know when we get there. Is this... your home? Yes. <laughs> What's with you all of a sudden? Being all polite and inviting it's over? Ah, you're back. Quick, come help me see if this painting's all straightened. Uh, and... Huh? Who are they? Stop making a fuss. They're obviously guests. You're not from the Academia, are you? I'm unsure she's seen you before. <gasps> You're the person from that time in that one place! Wait, what? How do you know me? Oh no, oh no, do people know that I live here? What? You're embarrassed only now of all times? Oh, you guys are roommates! Yes, yes we are, but keep that to yourselves. Please, don't tell anyone else. I keep a few books on collectives and the subconscious here at home. I'll get them. You all chat in the meantime. Uh, hey! Hey! You're leaving just like that? What's the deal, I'll hate them? Uh... <laughs> uh... Sorry, I know we've only just met, but I have to ask. Are you, um... You wouldn't happen to be actors that I'll hate them hire to pretend to be his friends, would you? Uh... What? Guess not. I've never seen him invite friends home before, so please excuse my surprise. You guys get it, right? You know, with his temperament and stuff. But aren't you friends with him? Uh, I wouldn't say friends, exactly. Okay, well, we used to be. But we're not anymore. Huh? Don't worry about it. My name is Kaveh. I'm sorry to have met you under these circumstances. Anyway, please don't say anything about me living here. You seem like you got a lot going on. So maybe some more will make Paimon shut up. Are you serious? How could you... Oh, of course. You're all Haytham's friends. What? That was a normal response. You exposed your own weakness. 
still. Why do you have to treat me like he does? Judging by the deafening din coming from the living room, you all must be getting along quite well. Hmm. Entertain your own friends, why don't you? I'll leave the books here. Paimon's dizzy from reading. This is way too complicated. Why don't we just ask questions instead? Paimon wants to know... Uh... Oh, how did you know about the collective consciousness's weakness? A year ago, Siraj presented his thesis to the Grand Sage, who offhandedly asked for my opinion. I actually responded with two lines of reasoning. The first, as I've already said, was that his research was on human evolution, a subject prohibited by the academia. The second was that I thought the direction of his research was too extreme, but his approach too conservative. Wait, that's too conservative? He built such a large lab, gathered all those people, and even tried to get rid of you! One way to stabilize a collective consciousness is to remove the test subject's humanity altogether. The optimal solution to achieve collective consciousness is to focus solely on the overmind and treat the other test subjects as tools. That's way too dangerous! You're not seriously considering that, are you? Cause, uh... Whew. I'm merely stating the facts. If Siraj had done that, I would have felt his work to be just as senseless. It's impossible for any species to evolve overnight, and humans without their humanity cannot be called humans. That's why the academia prohibited research into human evolution. Most research of this kind tends to run contrary to evolution. Huh. I'm on gets it now. Ha! <laughs> That's rich coming from you. If humans aren't humans without their humanity, then you'll probably evolve into some other species in another decade, I wager. What about you? Are you going to devolve into a fungus? At least I'd be a fungus with empathy. Sorry for eavesdropping, but what happened to you guys? Are you in trouble? Sort of. We encountered a strange researcher that had it out for us. Are you all okay? Huh. So that's how things went. Ah, <sighs> such is life. If only he'd known, Alhatham could have stayed indoors today, and the whole thing could have been avoided, right? Plus, he could have helped me with the housework for once. See those books? They've been sitting there waiting for someone to sort through them for an age. If you're not gonna read them, tidy them away! They don't belong there! Uh... Uh... <sighs> Can you feel the awkwardness in the air? I hope you're aware of your lack of conversational skills. Oh, so the pot's calling the kettle black, is he? Hm. Well, having said all that, are you okay? I'm doing quite well. Much better than that painting you're trying to hang on the wall. You... You don't understand anything. Stop criticizing my taste in decoration. Paimon can't tell which of them is more problematic. <sighs> Let's just get this over with and leave. You whisper very loudly. Oh! Um... Yeah! Paimon's been told that. Do you have any more questions? Let Paimon think. Uh... Oh! By the way, the other researchers apologize to you. They hope that you can forgive them. I bear them no ill will. More accurately, I don't really care about what they think of me. To some extent, they were also fooled by Siraj. The Matra will take this into account at their trials. Ilyas also said that he wanted to tell us the truth at Gundarvaville, but he didn't have the courage. He apologized to you too. It doesn't matter. I never considered asking him to come forward with the truth. Judging from his experiences, he's more courageous than the average person. There's no need to lay even more criticism on him. Criticizing the brave only shows how weak you yourself are. I'm going for dinner in ten minutes, so I'll field one last question. Paimon doesn't have any more questions. How about you? Oh, yeah, that's a good 
question. You only started investigating with the Matra at the Academia because you were interested in something, right? But after meeting Siraj, it didn't seem like you were interested in him or his experiment. I had no interest in him personally, but I was curious as to why so many people were willing to form a collective consciousness with him. I now understand the reason. Correct. The fall of the sages and the shutdown of the Akasha terminals deeply affected the academia. The fact that Siraj's project attracted so much interest despite not being approved speaks to the lack of research projects as of late. As the acting Grand Sage, I'll have to figure something out. In addition, what happened to Ilias is worth our attention. Reporting academic fraud was the right thing to do. He didn't deserve the outcome that he had received. Paimon understands now. Oh, you're pretty serious when it comes to work, huh? I think minimum viable seriousness is a more apt description. I'll do my best to take care of this mess until my resignation is approved. Wait, your resignation? Yes. I've already submitted my resignation to the Academia. Soon, I'll resign as the Acting Grand Sage and go back to being its scribe. I don't think Siraj knew about that. If he had waited just a few more days before acting, I would have already resigned. What he'd do then wouldn't have been any concern of mine. However, even without my input, his unstable model would have collapsed for some other reason, so it makes no difference. But why do you want to resign? I'm not suited to be a sage, nor do I want to be one. The official process to select the new sages is already underway, but this process is long and takes far too much time. If I serve as acting Grand Sage for too long, the position might become permanent. That would be troublesome. This job isn't something I want to spend the rest of my life doing. It's important to keep your priorities straight. Well, it's about time. You too should grab some dinner as well. Oh, now that you say that, Paimon's kind of hungry. See ya! We're gonna grab some yummies! See ya. <laughs>